If you're not getting the support from your spouse, then this video is for you. Why are we not getting the support? Maybe we are not asking the right questions which actually get the support from our spouse. Women generally are feeling more frustrating to ask for support when compared to men because for women they have a natural tendency to come and help and give support even if it is unasked but they expect the same from male that is where the problem starts the more she loves someone the more she is motivated to offer her love and support even if it is unasked so she expects the same thing from the male now she gives a test she has a need, she wants something, but she will never go and ask the male because she wants the male to understand her and fulfill her needs because according to her, that is love. But please understand ladies, males never come and do wantedly because they cannot understand what is going in your mind. So it is you who have to ask them what you want. But generally women have a mental test. If he loves me, he should understand me and he should fulfill that. So please understand, never give this test because it is drastically going to affect your relationship in a very, very bad way. In the beginning, women start giving and giving and giving, expecting the male will finally catch up and give them more. But now what happens? The male thinks like he is giving enough. That is why the women are giving more. So he keeps quiet until the women stops giving. When he realizes the women are stopping to give something to them, then that is the time they start thinking, oh, now we have to give. It is our turn. Maybe we have not fulfilled them. So they start giving them. So it is you who have to understand and stop giving so that they can start giving to you. Since she is always giving and giving, eventually she asks with a demanding attitude that this is what I want. You have to fulfill this. Now, even if the male fulfills this, she feels like this does not count because I asked you and you did not come and help me voluntarily. So you till you do that wantedly and voluntarily, I'm going to be angry. So she is actually angry because she have to go and ask for his support. So what is the solution for getting support in the right way? First, practice asking for things which is already giving you number two practice asking for more where there is a possibility where he can say no and the third one is assertive asking let's see one by one where you can implement all these things in your day-to-day -day life with your spouse with your male so that you can get the support what you deserve step one Practice asking correctly for what he is already giving you or what you are already getting. Now here the trick is you have to first be aware of what he is giving and then you have to keep on appreciating. Basically you are appreciating because you are training his mind. Now what happens when he does something and you appreciate that he feels happy. Now he wants to give you more. So you are basically reconditioning his mind. So understand the first step is to be aware of what he is already giving and then asking for the same thing next time. Tips to achieve the step one in an effective way. When you are asking something, timing is very, very important. And the next thing is be brief. Don't give lots of explanations. The moment you start giving explanations, he understands that you don't trust him in doing what you wanted. So just be brief. And the next thing is appreciating mindset. Whatever he does, keep appreciating him. Be brief, be direct and use the right language which does not turn him off. Step two is practice asking for more even if he is going to say no to you. Now what happens, say for example, you have trained him for the first step. Now after some time you are going to ask for more, but you have to be open that he might say no to you. Now if he says no, you have to respectfully accept it. You should not get angry or you should not get, uh, you know, that bad vibe against him. Now what happens, even if he says no, you are graciously accepting it because of which that keeps in, that is there in his mind. So next time you ask him something more, he's, 
you will think okay last time i said no so this time i'm i'm supposed to do so this attitude you are actually creating in him basically reconditioning his mind so practice asking for more and initially expect no and graciously accept that the third step is assertive asking for example would you pick up the kids that's it you ask and then stop silent now he might be saying i'm tired i just came uh can you do it basically you have to understand women at this condition they feel like, it's okay i will do it i'll take care but you should not do in this condition he is grumbling because it is a sign that he is about to say yes for what you asked so you should never talk after you asked so just keep quiet he himself will grumble and then slowly over time he himself will start doing it but suppose he is not doing what you asked then the trick is again graciously accept that he is not ready to do so next time it starts getting stored in his mind that he said no previous time so the more no he is saying he is morally obligated to say yes to you the next time these are the tricks i realized how you can implement in your life to get more support so with this i am ending this video if you think this video is useful please let me know i'll be very happy to hear your comments and as always sharing is caring bye